at a scatter plot and try to understand, you know, what exactly is correlation? What does it refer to? And, uh, you know, how do we find out what exactly it is? So, first of all, here's some terminology that applies to correlation. It could be a positive correlation, it could be a negative correlation, it could be no correlation. And uh, basically what it is, is we're plotting some points, okay, these are scatter plots, and we're trying to figure out if we were trying to draw a line of best fit, you know, would that line have a positive slope, meaning going up to the right, would it have a negative slope, meaning going down to the right, or would it be relatively no correlation? Then if we want to refine it further, we could say, well, that's a strong positive correlation. What that means, strong positive, is the points are very, uh, you know, well aligned, okay, like in a straight line, so that if you were to draw that line of best fit, it would come very, very close to hitting all of those points. That's a strong positive, and if it was, you know, the points were in a, almost a straight line and it was trending down with a negative slope, that would be a strong negative. And then, of course, a weak positive means, yeah, it's generally going up, but, you know, it's not really, the points aren't really close to being in a perfectly straight line. Same thing with weak negative. So let's see if we can classify these ones here. And at the end of the video, what I'm going to also do is I'm going to show you on the calculator how to actually find out what that R value is. Okay, they use the R to represent the correlation coefficient and I'll show you how that works as well. Now, the other thing that I want to mention is that when you talk about R values or correlation coefficients, it's on a spectrum from negative one to one. Negative one means that it's a negative correlation, it's going down to the right, but that one means that the points are perfectly in a straight line, okay? Same thing with positive one, they're perfectly in a straight line, okay? But if it's closer to the middle here at zero, whether it's a negative 0.1 or positive 0.1, the closer it gets to zero, zero means like there's relatively no correlation. There's not a pattern. It's not really going up to the right. It's not really going down to the right. Uh, so basically, as you get further to the ends of the spectrum, towards negative one or positive one, the better the points are aligned in a straight line. So let's take a look. So this first one here, what would you say? Is it a positive, negative? And would you say it's a strong positive, strong negative, or weak positive, weak negative? Well, if I was to draw a line of best fit, it looks like, you know, it's trending down to the right. Okay, definitely. Um, maybe kind of like a, you know, it's okay. Maybe I would say probably like a weak negative, okay, for this one, a weak negative correlation. So it's gonna have a negative R value, but it might be somewhere around, you know, negative 0.5 or negative 0.6, okay? This one here, you can definitely see it's trending up to the right. That's gonna have a positive correlation coefficient, okay, a positive R value. Again, you know, it's positive, um, but it's gonna be like maybe, you know, a positive 0.5 or maybe a positive 0.6, okay? just estimating. Now this one, you can see these points are almost perfectly in a straight line, trending up to the right, positive slope. This is definitely gonna be a strong positive correlation. The R value is gonna be very, very close to one, if not exactly positive one, right? And then this one, you can see it's hard to really tell. If I was trying to draw a line of best fit, would I draw it going up to the right? Would I go out drawing it down, going down to the right? There's really relatively no correlation, so this would be no correlation and it would be very, very close to zero, okay, if not zero. So that's an overview of just the, how the correlation coefficients now uh, works. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graphing calculator, and I'm gonna show you how exactly to calculate what that R value is when you're you know, drawing a line of best fit. Okay, here we are with the TI-83 uh, graphing calculator, and you can do the same thing on the TI-84 and some of the other graphing calculators, but let me show you how this works. We're gonna try to find that correlation coefficient, uh, and what the first thing you wanna do is go over here to stat for statistics, right? So stat, and then what you want is edit, enter, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna arrow up to the top of these lists, and I'm just gonna hit this uh, clear button, okay? When you do that and arrow down, it's gonna clear out that list. Same thing over here, list one, go up to the top, hit clear, and then arrow down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the X coordinates in list one and the Y coordinates in list two, and I've written down some points here for us, so let's, let's just go ahead and enter those. So negative three is for the X, negative one, uh, two, three, and four. And then if I arrow over here to the, for the Y coordinates, let's see, I've written down negative two, negative one, uh, let's see, negative one, uh, one and four. Okay, so now what you wanna do is go back to stat, over here, stat, arrow to the right for calculate, and what we want is we want linear regression, number four. Okay, see it's like linear regression, like y equals mx plus b, like the slope intercept form of the line. Enter, okay, and you can see what it's giving us here now is this r value, 0.82. The equation of our line is gonna be y equals 0.67, x plus a negative 0.476. Okay, so you can put the A and the B in for 
uh, the equation there, but look at that R value, 0.82. So that means it's a positive correlation. It's going up to the right, and it's pretty close to one, which means that you know this is a pretty you know this is a pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write down the equation of that line, which is y equals 0.826. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, that's the R value. So we've got let's see, y is equal to um, let's see, 0.676 uh, x plus uh, negative 0.476. Okay, so what we can do now is let's go back to um, y equals, okay, and let's put that equation in. So 0.676x, okay, uh, minus 0.476. And then I'm going to go back to, um, let's see, I'm going to go back to this second stat plot and see how it's off. I'm going to turn that plot on, okay, on because we want to see those data points. And I'm going to select this one here, okay, and let's go back to graph up here in the upper right hand corner. So you can see there's, those are our data points, there's our line of uh, best fit. And so you can see some of these points, you know, they're a little bit of a distance away from, you know, the line, but you can see it's definitely trending up to the right. That's why we have the positive R value of, uh, was about 0.8, and, uh, but not too bad. So definitely a, definitely a correlation there, definitely positive, uh, not exactly perfectly one where they're in a straight line, but, but very, you know, pretty close to it. So. Uh, that's how you do it. The one last thing I want to mention is sometimes when you're working with this correlation coefficient, some calculators, uh, they don't automatically give you that R value. What you have to do is you have to go down here to catalog. See here right above the zero. So what you'd want to do is select second and catalog. And what you want to do is you want to arrow down to diagnostic. So I'm just going to hit the letter D here. See if I can find it, D right there. And then what you want to do is arrow down to diagnostic and you want to turn that on. See where it says diagnostic off diagnostic on, enter, enter. Now when you go to do this linear regression, it'll make sure to give you that R value. Otherwise, sometimes if you change the batteries or when you first get the calculator, it won't give you that R value. You have to turn that diagnostic on. So subscribe to the channel, check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.